Trust the Profits and Playup Race Book present the live reaction, analysis, and recap of the 2022 Breeders' Cup this staff. Welcome back to Trust the Profits as we are about to start the 2022 Breeders' Cup distaff. What an interesting race we have here. We got three left with the distaff. Uh, and then the, we got the classic last, which is the big one with Flight Line. And we've got Nest, the seven to five favorite, and Malafat, the number one, five to two. Who are you on, Formula? I, we said Malafat earlier on. Uh, El Ombre and I were both on Malafat for our only winner's picks. I got to stick with Malafat. I mean, got to be consistent here. That's that's who we thought would get us here, five to two. I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not side eyeing that. That looks pretty good considering seven to five is on Nest. Eight horse race. Uh, I think the the most difficult part is who's going to fall underneath. It's it's tough to cross off any horse that isn't um, awake at midnight, right? It, all the other horses I can make really strong cases for. So that's the difficult part of this race, in my opinion. And look at this. We got a live shot. We're going to bring in our live guest here, Matt. On the Matt. field reporter. On field reporter, Matt. How are we doing? How are we feeling? Oh, hey, guys. It <laughs> you can hear me. It's about to go off here. It who is. Do like? Who do you like? Do you still like Clarier? They are off. definitely off. And that's a live shot right there as they raced off. And you can see the crowd at Keeneland. We've uh, sent Matt on site. And you can tell uh, it's quite loud there. So Wait. we'll break him out so we can uh, finish this off here. As society got, dashing out in front. It, it looks like society's out there in front. Blue stripe result. right behind her. And uh, search results uh, next to blue stripe a little bit on the outside. The five back from there, awake at midnight. All the horses we talked about previous are uh, sort of hanging out in the back there, it seems. <laughs> yeah. yeah, as we expected with Florence Rue taking society to the front. Yes. And 23 minute quarter that's that's an easy pace that he could should easily be able to hold up uh, absolutely clarier in the back clarier is making up some ground all the horses very tight very tight even clarier not very far off i mean we've got a big cluster of horses there mouth that just sort of waiting in back but i mean really only one and a half lengths behind the leader yeah and here goes uh so nest was like three or four wide Seems to pull in a little bit there, but now you've got Secret, Secret Oath for D. Wayne Lucas taking the lead here at the top of the And here turn. goes Nest following up on Secret Oath, and it looks like uh, we've got Malathot, like we thought, is, is making making her move right now. Secret uh, Oath still a huge bunch. Here. here comes Malathot on the outside. Malathot on the outside. You also see Blue Stripe, horse that I really like. Oh, don't Get tell up, me Blue Stripe's going to win Get this. Get up, Malafat. Get up. Get up. Clary are making a Get move, up. too. Who's it going to be? Get up. Get up. Yeah. Looks like yeah. Malafat. Looks like Malafat. Wow, Blue Stripe, Clary are Malafat. All in that bunch there. Hard to tell them apart. Looks like Malafat. Maybe Blue Stripe, two. Maybe Clary are three, as best as I can tell. That was a crazy race. Wow, look at that finish. And we talked about Yeah, keep me off that there. That makes me happy. <laughs> and we've talked about this having the we're gonna have a top three finishes of the Breeders' Cup this year. This is gonna be in that for sure. Oh, has to be. Has to be. I mean, look at that. This might be Blue Stripe, let's my girl. See who got second here. No, I think it's blue stripe. Coming. Oh man, it's so hard to tell. And this camera is got it beyond, yeah, beyond it's, the finish line, so it's hard to tell. It's going to be a head bob. Yeah. Malathat gets up. And, uh, yeah. I think, I think it's the two. Oh, man, that is tight. That is so tight. Here we go. Here's the good view that we're going to see. Woo! So, Malathat's on the outside. Blue stripes in the middle. <laughs> Impossible to tell. Oh, and um, Clarier is on the inside beneath. So Clarier's oh, got the rail. Man. This is going to yeah. be really close. Wow. Um, Hell of a race. Glad to see Malathat on top. 
Blue Stripe, that was my outside choice. I wish I would have played that one up, but every other horse in this race, there's Nest. Look at Nest in fourth, a length and a half behind. Um, that's got to shock a lot of people. Uh, it shocks me that Nest is that far back or is not in the top three. But I, at the same time, like we said, once you cross out like Awake at Midnight, I could make cases for every single one of these horses to be in the top three, finishing in the money. But the case for the winner, Mel thought we were right on that. Here we go. We're going to get another shot. I think here. so. We're going to stick with this because I. it's really hard to tell if Clarier, Clarier goes down when Secret uh, when Blue Stripe comes Blue Stripe. Up. Yeah. And, I think Blue Stripe's got it, but you're right. It, right it all there, depends though, on the cadence of the head bob. There it is underneath. So tough to tell. So I'm pretty I'm pretty confident Mouth that got the win. He did, and it was blue stripe. You're right. One, two, four yeah. is your finish. Um, what an exciting, exciting race that is for the distaff. And we got Mouth up, who we both liked. Goosebumps. Uh, great race. Great race. Great that, race. Will you be willing to bet that that'll be one of the top three finishes? That might be number one. I'll put it up there. <laughs> we'll try and get Matt straightened out. Thanks for joining us. We're Get, counting down to two more races, the turf and the classic here on Breeders' Cup Saturday. Thanks for watching Trust the Profits, your home for the best in horse racing and sports analysis.